Hey, everybody. Thank you very, very much for joining me again for Breaking News. My name is CJ Rosenbaum. I'm the founding partner of a law firm called Rosenbaum Familaro, and we help sellers all over the world. We have, we have staff all over the world. We help sellers all over the world with Amazon suspensions, whether they're legal issues or non-legal issues. And we also help with intellectual property right issues, either sellers who have been falsely accused or have received baseless accusations of filing, of, of violating somebody else's intellectual property rights, or as, as sellers go more and more into private label brands, we help sellers develop and protect their private label brands. So today's breaking news, what I do generally before breaking news, I go around to our entire team. We're up to 30 people, or including our Chinese staff, 35 people. And I go to our, our three different tables and say, okay, what is the latest breaking news? What do Amazon sellers need to know? What is working on our plans of action? What's the latest on intellectual property right issues? And I sit down with the staff and we have a collaborative effort. We all work here at a Long Beach, New York. Everything that is written for an Amazon seller from an inauthentic plan of action to a you sold as new plan of action to an ODR rate plan of action to IP issues. All the work product comes out of here in Long Beach, New York. Everything is written by college educated professionals. Nothing is outsourced. We don't work out of a UPS store. We are a real live team of just devoted, fantastic people. And I'm kind of droning on, but I am blessed to have what I think is the world's greatest team of people to work with. And we are just fantastic. So I go table by table and I say, all right, what do sellers need to know today? Give me the breaking news. And I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, so what I started to do today is I started using the slideshow on the Be Live thing, which works really, really great. And I'm starting to give the paralegals credit because we learn from each other. Every plan of action is conferenced among our entire team. And so I want to give credit where credit is due. So we all know suspensions are absolutely awful. Okay. If it's an entire account, they lock you out. Sometimes they hold your inventory, they hold your money. Amazon will charge you storage fees. If you borrowed money from Amazon, you still have to make your note payments. So suspensions are absolutely awful. So we try and get every suspension, every plan of action out the door and resolved as quickly as possible because we don't want you looking like this guy sitting outside a locked door. So um, where does our information come from? Our information comes from thousands of reinstatements and thousands of plans of action. It comes from writing uh, numerous, countless policy team escalations. It comes from countless Bezos escalations. It comes from dealing with notice dispute. And as a former trial lawyer, as someone who tried hundreds of personal injury and medical malpractice and employment cases, um, we have taken on the role of representing Amazon sellers in arbitrations against Amazon, where I get to go to my old school roots and cross-examine Amazon's witnesses over and over and over again. So we have a lot of information that nobody else has, and we use all this information that we're able to compile to help Amazon sellers with your plans of action, with your IP issues. So that's where our information comes from. Um, first, Jason Timchula. Um, Jason is um, a, a former Navy guy. He is one of the smartest guys I think I've ever met, one of the most worldly guys I've ever met. And he said, I should talk to you about what's going on with review manipulation suspensions. OK, so uh, about three months ago, these were really hot and they died down a bit, but they are making a huge comeback. We're getting call after call after call um, of sellers who have been suspended. And we've been very successful at getting the sellers back, unlike a few months ago where there was a lot of difficulty. But what's going on now is Amazon is removing all of your reviews. OK, so if you're accused of this, you are losing all of your reviews. You're not just losing your verif your unverified reviews. You are losing your verified reviews. And then Amazon is sending out emails, but they're not allowing new reviews. So I don't know why the crackdown is occurring again. If you receive this problem, give us a call. We'll try and talk your way through it. If you are suspended or you've lost a listing that's vital to you, you can hire us to draft your plan of action. And Jason's leading the team on this issue. Uh, but this is really important because we all know reviews drive everything in this day and age. They drive your sales. It is definitely a factor in getting the buy box. I mean, even among us as, as a law firm, as we think the number one company to write plans of action, um, we ask you to leave a review. In fact, if you think you, if you like this video at all, if you're getting something from breaking news, 
please smash the like button as my 14 year old daughter samantha says like it share it and please go on google go on facebook and leave us a five-star review if you like the information that we provide so be super super careful about trying to get reviews i think the days of asking friends and family and and using different systems to try and pump up your reviews quickly absolutely stay away from click farms but this is a major issue over the last week and we think it's going to continue for at least another week or so review manipulation suspensions they're not deadly but it's going to cost you it's going to hurt really bad when you lose those reviews all right jason powell is a newer member of our team he's also a college educated guy who works in our collaborative environment and what he's telling me is that you guys have to keep an eye out there's a new layout for the orders tab and don't freak out if you have it don't freak out if you don't have it only some sellers have it okay but there is a little bit of a change to the dashboard most of the changes and i'm not here to bash amazon most of the changes that get instituted are good i mean we like most of the changes of allowing you to track your metrics of helping get rid of counterfeiters uh, but again amazon can be very very harsh and it's not a perfect system and it's not a perfect world so if you have this new part of the dashboard um, it's a good thing if you don't have it don't worry about it but it is a new innovation that amazon is coming down the pipe with and towards the end i'm going to talk about a fantastic program with amazon that i constantly pump where they donate money to charity so it's not all bad on amazon it's how you make a living it provides tremendous opportunity for sellers all over the world but watch out for this latest innovation on the dashboard joe volpe is another member of our team he's been with us uh, over a year maybe a year and a half uh, we hired him. He was actually a referral from my sister, although my brother-in-law takes credit for him. He's a really, really, really great guy. And he's been working a lot on related account suspensions. Um, related account suspensions used to be absolutely deadly. Now they're not. Now we've had a lot more success in getting related account suspensions, getting the older account back online. Uh, that's usually what we can do. If it's a, a newer account that you've promoted and made that one more valuable, we still tell you take a step back, look at the long-term goal and work on getting the original account, your oldest account reinstated. It's easier for us, it's easier and it's faster, which gets you back to selling. And then you can build that account back up. Now, some of the things that we've seen are, are Amazon sellers who have businesses who are then using people who are allowed to work from home. The problem is Amazon accounts have become so prolific that your employees may also have sellers accounts. And if they do and they log in from home, you're the one that's going to get nailed with the related account suspension. So talk to your talk to your staff, talk to whoever's working on your account and say, listen, if you have a seller's account, you can still work for us, but you cannot log home from home and you cannot log on from your phone and you can't use your home computer. So you got to be really, really careful. Uh, we don't know all the different ways that Amazon relates accounts or links accounts. We just don't know. But we do know that they track the IP addresses and we do know they get the Mac addresses and, and pixels and cookies and spreadsheets and bank accounts and addresses. And some of these problems are not as extreme if you are in an urban environment with a lot of sellers. If you're in Borough Park, Brooklyn or Williamsburg or Monzi or Lakewood or Shenzhen, China, where there's just a huge, huge concentration of sellers, you know, you're not going to have the same issues but you're in more of a rural environment and there's two sellers logging on from the same address, same IP address, you're gonna get caught, you're gonna be dead in the water and it's gonna be a problem. So talk to your employees, let them know you support them 100%, but they can't log on to your account from home if they're also a seller. So Joe, thank you for this update. And if you have learned something, like it, share it, mention Joe, Joe's also on Facebook. All right, Vin, Vin, Vincent Famalaro, um, is one of our number one guys, one of our, is like our, our second hire into paralegal. He is just fantastic. He can do it all, okay? And he is absolutely great. Um, what, he, what he wants sellers to know is that performance notifications that are coming into sellers don't make any sense. The subject lines don't match the internal. On the emails, the subject line doesn't match the email. It may say that your account's been suspended. On the inside, it says your, your account's been reinstated. There's a listing problem. Uh, we have also seen, and this is kind of funny, but this is what happens when you're like the world's largest platform, world's largest retailer, like the world has ever seen. We have seen messages coming into sellers in Italian on their German accounts. We have seen messages coming in in German 
on UK accounts. So we don't know what is causing the problem over at Amazon, but if you get it, don't stress, don't worry about it. These things are not necessarily gonna harm your account. It's just errors going on in Amazon and you're just the recipient of it. So always, always, always stay calm. Always keep your eye on the ball. Always plan on a long-term doing business. Okay, now I wanna talk about a couple other things. That's the breaking news. Now, uh, many of you know that we wrote, we wrote the number one book on avoiding suspensions and how to get your accounts back if you're unfortunately either an ASIN suspension or your whole account goes down. And if you want a free copy of the book, I'm willing to send it to anybody domestically in the United States. Just send me an email, put free book in the subject line, send it to the email address, cj at amazonsellerslawyer.com. Sellers is plural, lawyer is singular. And we'll go ahead and we'll send you a free copy of our book. Also, for those sellers who are in the fashion industry, we wrote a book about two years ago about specifically selling fashion on Amazon. And I'm also really, really excited to announce that we have five new books coming online. Four are just about done. The fifth is in the works. It's going to be The Seller's Guide to Trademark Law, The Seller's Guide to Copyright Law. For sellers who are getting into private label brands, which is the wave of the right now, it's something you should be doing, uh, developing your own private label brand. We have The Seller's Guide to Brand Protection. And if you are sourcing your products in China, you need to know something about Chinese law. So we also wrote a book, The Seller's Guide to Chinese Intellectual Property Law. I don't know how that's all going to fit on one book cover, but the book should be out in about another month or so. They're now going out to the print and we're really, really psyched about it. Uh, we're also working uh, with Levy Stewart, Levy Stewart, one of our, our fantastic law students are here at our law desk a book specifically for merchandise protection geared towards the musical industry, the music, the music industry, uh, vocalist, rock bands, heavy metal, like I used to be. Okay. So these are all books that are coming up and they should be out in another month. Um, also what I wanted to do, I wanted to show a picture of our team and this is not even the entire team. Um, I love what I do. I love working on sellers accounts. I love working with entrepreneurs, but I would be no place, with this fantastic team that me and my partner, Anthony, have put together. Um, we, we are 35 people strong. We are working on three different continents, although everything that is written for an Amazon account, every plan of action comes here at a Long Beach, New York. But I'm only as great, uh, our firm is as great as, as the members of our team. And I want to do a specific shout out to my awesome wife, Ellie, who has instituted our 401k problem, our problem, <laughs> our 401k program paid time off, health insurance, family leave. I mean, we, we love our team. We are growing our team. And as far as I know, we are the only firm out there that actually has an internal team of everybody working together in the same place in a collaborative environment. So Billy and Travis and Cherish and Gary and Anthony and, and Kerry and Jason and Sean and, and Jason Powell, we have two Jasons and everybody out there. I want to thank you guys so much. We have the greatest team and I love who I work with, Connor and our entire law desk. I mean, just awesome, awesome people. And for sellers, I want you to know that if you hire us to write your plan of action, these are the people working on your account. Every time they start working on a plan of action, you get a phone call and they talk to you about your business. We need to know the ins and outs of your particular account and what you think is important so we can address it. We're not sending out any forms. Every plan of action is written by a college educated American right here in Long Beach, New York. And everyone is, is participating in a collaborative work environment so that we stay on the, the latest, on the cutting edge of what's gonna get you or get your ASIN back on as quickly as possible. Um, finally, we have uh, events that are coming up and I'm blessed to be invited to speak at events all over the world. Retail Global in Las Vegas, October 9th to 11th. This is a fantastic event, multiple tracks. You will get the best education here. You will get inspired. Retail Global in Las Vegas. And in about six months, it'll be Retail Global back in Australia. And if you're not selling in Australia, start selling in Australia. You will do really, really well as you get reviews and you will be at the top of the food chain when that really takes off in another year or so. So Retail Global in Las Vegas, October 9 to 11. I'll be there. There are a tremendous number of just fantastic speakers at Retail Global in Las Vegas. Also, this weekend, I'm flying out on Sunday, but starting on Sunday the 29th is the ASD show in Las Vegas. 
where you can source your products. And Eddie Levine and Robin Thompson have done a fantastic job at putting together speakers uh, right upstairs from the, uh, the, the, the conference hall. Uh, Vegas is easy to get to. The hotels are cheap. It's a really cool place to visit. Even if you don't gamble, last time I was there, my wife and I went to the track and we drove race cars and she beat me by 35 miles an hour. I mean, she was just a monster driver. But ASD in Vegas this weekend, don't miss it. Sourcing, information, and I think most importantly, um, inspiration and information. You gotta be inspired, you gotta keep up with the latest. Ecom Chicago in October, this is going to be the, the one of the best domestic events that you can go to, okay? If you're in that area of the country, Ecom Chicago, October 18th to 20th. I'll be speaking there. We'll be talking about brand protection. We'll be talking about intellectual property issues. There'll be multiple speakers to help Amazon sellers with sourcing, with creating their listings, with selling, to monitoring inventory, wholesale breakthrough, and Eddie Levine will be there. It's just going to be a fantastic event. Um, if you're starting to source in China, depending on where you are in the world, you know they have like 90% of the factories are in China. Global sources is fantastic, okay? I've spoken there the last, I don't know, three or four years. I'm not gonna be speaking there. I'm gonna be attending there. We'll be giving out our books, uh, but it is just a fantastic event. And if you haven't been to Asia, this makes it really, really easy. It's right at the Hong Kong airport. You could fly right in. You don't need a visa if you're from the US and you can get your feet wet. You can source your products at an enormous show. And again, just like ASD, there'll be fantastic lectures right upstairs in the same place. So global sources in, in Hong Kong in October. Um, this is what we do. We handle non-legal suspensions, intellectual property issues. And I'm missing a slide here. Let me see if I can get this last slide here, but it seems to be missing. It was about the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. Uh, let me get rid of the slideshow now. Wrong button here. Okay, the slide I wanted to come up was a picture of Ty and a picture of the foundation. If you are shopping on Amazon, Amazon has a fantastic program. I think it's the best program that they have. I mean, I think it's great they hire vets. I think it's great they deliver food to neighborhoods that don't have great uh, supermarkets. But Amazon Smiles, Amazon Smiles is a program where if you're buying on Amazon, you go through Amazon Smiles, you get to pick a charity and Amazon will donate a small portion of your purchase to that charity. So please shop through Amazon Smiles. Okay, You're just leaving money on the table that Amazon will donate to a charity. And please pick the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. Um, Ty Campbell, T-Y, Ty Campbell was a little boy who got brain cancer. And he, he, he fought valiantly for about two years until he passed away. And his mom, Cindy, and his dad, Lou, are great, great friends of mine. And they created a foundation to raise money to find better treatments and hopefully find a cure for pediatric cancers. So if you are shopping on Amazon, use Amazon Smiles and please pick the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. So thank you very much for joining us on this breaking news. Um, we're starting a whole, new series, a whole new series of webinars called Selling and Afraid. And the goal is to make sure that you don't live in fear, that you don't live in fear of suspensions. And we'll set it up on Facebook where you can watch it. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and keep on selling. Keep your eye on the ball and keep on making money. Thank you.